Welcome to the Virtuous Woman Show this evening. May God bless you. May the Lord do you good. How have you been? How is the situation around your home, around your workplace, at church, in the daily lives that we go through? I just want to tell you that I have been okay since the last time we have been together and the Lord has continued to keep me well. What about you? Please let us know your response. How is it going with your family? We want to know. My name is Reverend Ruth Kayo. This is the Virtuous Women Show. And we are so pleased to come yet another day to your homes to grow together. We've always said when we go through life, let us grow through life. There are things that sometimes life throws at us that puts us out of the path that we expected to be and sometimes we could feel like oh god how am i able to pick myself up and move from point a to point b where you expect me to be but i want to tell you someone once said that when when life gives you lemons please make lemonade out of it and tonight this evening depending on the time zone where you are we are going to learn a very wonderful, wonderful topic. And it's about how can I make the best out of the worst situations. And to take us through this is our Reverend Monica Mulenge, who is not new to us. She's been here before. You've watched her talking about balancing family and ministry. And today she's going to take us through how do I make the best out of the worst situations that come through to me. Karibu to the show, Reverend Monica Mulingi. Asante. It's good to have you again. It's a great joy. Yes, how have you been? I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. The Lord has been gracious. Amen. Amen. Ministry and family. It's good. The Lord has blessed us, though. The children are gone, grown and gone, mm -hmm. but we are enjoying. Amen. Yes. We bless the Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you for coming once again. Mm -hmm. We expect a lot of good yes. in life. Mm -hmm. And we expect, especially as believers, mm -hmm. that when God has spoken something to us through his promises or through the men of God that have taught us and labored uh, the word of God in us, mm -hmm. that we will always get the best right. out of life. Mm -hmm. So what happens that sometimes they, 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 we experience the opposite of it. A situation comes and I can't handle it and mm. it, it puts me off balance. What happens? Why do we not just get the best out of life even as Christians? Why do we go through worst moments in life sometimes? You know, as you're talking, it took mm. me back to my background when I gave my life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. We used to sing songs that would insinuate uh -huh. uh, that to me wachana na shida kwa sababu ya kumjua Yesu. Okay. And uh, having come from a very poor background uh -huh. where luck was the order of the day, okay. I was so excited to know that <laughs> this is over. I'm not going to, <laughs> to, lack, going to, anymore. to, to mm. lack anymore. Mm. But lo and behold, as I walked with the Lord, mm -hmm. I had to search scriptures yeah. because at times that kind of a knowledge can make you so guilty and condemned okay, when yeah. you find yourself into a hard situation. Mm. And uh, studying scriptures, Proverbs chapter 14 and verse number one says that a man born of a woman are of few days and they are full of trouble. Yeah. That is when, Pastor Ruth, yeah. I changed my mindset yeah. that regardless whether we are born again or not born again, yeah. so long as you're born of a woman, yeah. you're full of troubles. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, we don't, we, we sometimes we read the Bible and we do selective reading. Yes. <laughs> we pick the scriptures yeah. that we want to, 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 to embrace. And some of the scriptures we don't, like th 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 that scripture, a man born of a woman is of few days and uh, full of trouble. Yes. Uh, you, that is one of the scriptures <laughs> <laughs> that maybe sometimes we do selective reading and say, here, Pada. Uh, but let me go, go to other scriptures that talk about abundance, that talk about life, that talks about prosperity. Mm -hmm. And we leave that behind. So when we are confronted <laughs> with a situation right. that is contrary, there is no balance in our lives. And we f kind of start feeling God has rejected us. Or, it's actually yes. a poor study of scriptures. Uh -huh. When you read Isaiah chapter number 28, verse 9 <laughs> to 10, the Bible says, who am I going to teach knowledge? Mm -hmm. It's for them that have been drawn away from the breast. Yeah. Talking about 
maturity. Mm -hmm. And then it gives a structure on how the Bible is supposed to be read. Mm -hmm. It is line upon line, precept upon precept, a mm -hmm. little from here and mm -hmm. a little from there. Mm -hmm. Then you're able to establish doctrine and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, First Corinthians 2.13 again says mm -hmm. that if we are to study the word of God, we need to allow the spirituals to interpret the spirituals. Mm -hmm. So that sectionalization of studying scripture uh -huh. has landed a lot of us into trouble mm -hmm. because you pick the one you want, yes. but nakuta vitu kwa ground ni different. <laughs> Because your lack of understanding yes. does not change God's way of doing things. You're right. Yes. Wow. So <laughs> how then do we are we supposed to respond to situations? When they come. When they come. The situations that are contrary to our expectations. How are we supposed to respond to that? When we are confronted with... Uh, situations that have caused us bitterness, that has caused us pain. How are we supposed to respond to that? Back to the word again. Mm -hmm. uh, Philippians chapter number 1 and verse number 29. Mm -hmm. It is appointed for us not only to believe, mm -hmm. but also to suffer together with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So how do we respond? Mm -hmm. Positive. Mm -hmm. Why it is an appointment for anyone to suffer. Yeah. First Peter chapter number one, verse number four, five, there is yeah. asking, then how much of our faith, which is more precious yeah. than gold? So that is telling us that it is scriptural. Hauna mapepo. Ukikuwa unapitia shida. It doesn't mean it is the devil. Oh my God. God is at work in it. Because uh -huh. if it is the devil, then what about Job? Oh, yeah. Job was a righteous man. Mm. Going uh, through the, oh, the Bible yeah. says he was righteous. And when God says you're righteous, he means it because mm. he's looking at the heart. Yes. Men will look at the outside appearance. But now God here is giving a testimony of Job, yeah. a righteous man, mm -hmm. acceptable before God, yeah. yet going through so much. Yeah. Maybe in our days, Angiambiwa Melaniwa. I but that man so. was positive as he went through all that he went. So our response to trials mm. and tribulations when they come mm. is to be positive. Mm -hmm. The other thing is to make sure that we acknowledge that God is sovereign. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing, yeah. nothing by any means, Pastor Ruth, yeah. the enemy cannot, can do to mm. our lives yes. unless the Lord allows him. You're right. Yes. And do you know what? <laughs> we are sometimes tempted to think God has forgotten us. Uh -huh. We are tempted to think anyone that is going through <laughs> a certain kind of trouble and emotions that are not positive, those are the people that were melaniwa. Mm -hmm. So when certain, a certain uh, something happens to somebody, instead of us encouraging them, mm -hmm. we become sometimes like some of Job's friends. And we are affected. Yes. Uh, our, our, our emotions are affected. And what are some of these emotions that can destroy us? Maybe I want to begin with the being forgotten. Mm -hmm. Because it's an issue that many people feel. And you get annoyed with mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. uh, you get, uh, uh, you, 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 you feel abandoned. Yes. We need to understand that God can never ever abandon us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. He cannot abandon us. Yeah. But there are reasons at times he turns his face away from us. Mm -hmm. And as much as he has turned his face away from us, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean abandonment. Yes. Look at Jesus Christ on the cross. Ah. Mm. Uh, he, he cries out, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakithani. Yes. Why have you forsaken, forsaken me? me. Yes. Because at that time he carries the sin of all, all creation uh -huh. and his eyes are now focused on the ones that are being actually appropriated the blood for their sins. Yes. Now, uh, when we go through challenging moments, though we feel forgotten, and I want to encourage somebody that is watching us today, mm -hmm. though you may feel discouraged, though mm -hmm. you may feel abandoned, mm -hmm. you are not abandoned. You are. Now, the natural response mm -hmm. when we go through hard moments no. is that we want to be angry, mm -hmm. we want to be bitter, we want to be... Um, we, we, we want to uh, yell mm -hmm. and thrive in our unforgiveness. Yeah. At times, people go to the point of even desiring to commit suicide. Right. Those are the natural responses. Response. Yeah. But how do we respond to those particular moments? Mm -hmm. We need to build the capacity of our, uh, of our you know, intelligence, emotional intelligence, mm -hmm. that you are able to admit, let me say, uh, if I have lost my brother, mm -hmm. one time I lost my brother, Mm. And the power of pain 
and loss yeah. is acknowledging mm -hmm. that I have actually mm. lost, is acknowledging uh, that I am uh, devastated. Yeah. And you see this even in the, books of, the, the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. uh, David speaks out his emotions and his pain to God. Mm -hmm. So the way to respond, number one, acknowledge and accept yeah. that you are hurt. Yeah. If you are betrayed, acknowledge and accept. Mm. Uh, and then uh, if you are in pain, uh, acknowledge that I am in pain mm. and go back to God in that pain. Yeah. And God understand the cry of pain. Right. That's why he understood Jesus Christ as the garden of Gethsemane. Okay. As he was actually expressing his cry of mm. pain. Yes. And then look for people, support uh -huh. systems. Yeah that can help you. Mm -hmm. People that have gone through the same situations mm -hmm. before and they have grown out of it. Wow, wonderful. Hey, you, you've caught me there. <laughs> Number one, accept that you're going through an emotion that is affecting you. Mm -hmm. Most of the times as believers, we want to sweep it under the carpet. We want to cover it with scripture. But unless you <laughs> accept, then take it back to God then he can help you. We will take a short break. I believe you're being blessed. Follow us on our YouTube channel, Virtuous Woman MBCI, and tag a friend. Keep tracking, tracking with us. We will be back after the short break.